All right, Captain, what are we doing? Watching the boat. Yeah, it's a hundred and something today. Uh-huh. So. Yeah. So we'll, uh, and there's forest fires in the vicinity. So there's like ash and smoke on the boat, so. Yeah, she just generally needs a good. She just generally needs a clean. Yeah. It's been about three or four weeks since we last did it. Yeah. We got some cobwebs on the lifelines. I mean, we're gonna, um, we're also gonna talk more about our lifelines because we're ordering some uh, stainless steel. Is that what they are, baby? Some stainless steel ones to replace these ropes. Um, but for right now, we're just gonna, we got her all cleared off as much as we can right now because our hard dodger's not up, but it needs to be cleaned too, so I think this will be a great opportunity. And then here is all cleared off and ready for cleaning. Got the dinghy hanging up. And uh, we're just gonna get her, give her a good scrub down. It's like so hot out today, so it's a perfect day to do a little scrub. So this table, my dad found outside in his garage, and then he put this like plywood top on it. It's a folding table, and it's gonna go on the dock for us, um, so we can play games. So we bought some trim, and um, so we've got some trim. We're gonna glue and then get this set on here. And then we'll do all of the sides, trim around all the sides, glue, and then uh, Bradley nail them, nail them in. And then... Bradley nail? Is it Bradley nail? Sure, not. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't know, we're gonna nail them in. <laughs> and then um, after we nail them in, then we will uh, epoxy the two pieces, cause these are, they fold up, so this is a piece and this is a piece. So we will epoxy them uh, front and back, sides, everything, and then we will turn around and stain them for a finished look. All right, here we are. We've got the table top has been sanded and prepped for epoxy. And then we have the wonderful border put on. So now the next step is to take the two tops off and then I will epoxy them.
So here we are enjoying coffee in the morning in our little patio space. A little bit of boat cleaning. Just enjoying this quiet space. Watching kayakers and paddleboards and boats go by. It's pretty fantastic. Bella had her breakfast. <laughs> she likes it here on the dock. <laughs> So we left the plants for probably about a week. This guy is pretty thirsty. The wine bottle's empty. And let's check and see what we got going on over here. This guy is pretty dry. Pretty dry. And then this one is doing pretty good, I think. So yeah, I'm just gonna water them up, fill up their um, water dispensers, and hope for the best. We'll see how long, we'll, I'll have to watch them closely now. So I thought we would explain a little bit about our marina. So our marina sits on Savi Island in Portland, Oregon. found this quiet little spot and we love it. So we're just gonna show you kind of around our, our little yard and little space that we use here while we're docked here for um, a while. <laughs> so over here, some of the liveaboards have done just a most incredible job. They love to um, garden and whatnot. So over here, put together like a little gardening area. It's really beautiful. Just super delightful. A little greenhouse. Some planter beds out there. That's where we take Bella to go potty outside. Uh, sometimes people will camp here in the summertime, which is nice. Like if people have guests and they'll just pinch a tent out here for a few nights. But it is just a beautiful little place to take Bella. Um, and then when you come this way, there's like a little mail area. Um, more just beautiful flowers and whatnot. We have this lovely little picnic area that overlooks the marina. There's only 12, or sorry, 22 I think, or 24 slips, but um, and they're all sailboats, so it's just a sailboat marina. And you can see there's some lights there at the trees that are all solar. Uh, some chairs to just kind of watch the traffic and the boats go by. It's just really delightful. Um, and a pretty good sized parking lot. There's space back there for RVs and whatnot. There's, um, wood here or wood um campfire thing which is kind of fun we'll do gatherings out here uh the whole marina will kind of you know whoever's around usually mostly the little boards and a few of the people that are here for the weekend or whatnot we'll come out here and we'll have like a potluck and have a fire going everybody brings their camp chairs it's really fun um they have a there's a Traeger under there and some firewood for the fire pit. It's just a really beautiful place um, down here to enjoy. And then when you come up the ramp here, so there's two ways that you can get onto the ramp. There's this one, which is a little bit more steep. And then they have a uh, handicap one, which is really nice. It is right here and it's just you can see it goes right up and that's you park right over there so you don't have any major slopes um, to enter onto this ramp 
perfect. So that's really nice. Just lots of solar lights. They all light up. It's really nice at night and bright. Um, we've got two bathrooms, full bathrooms with showers and toilets and everything. And then here we have like just like laundry facility and it has um, uh, two washers and two dryers. Right now I have laundry going, so that's nice. Uh, they don't charge for it, which is like a steal. <laughs> it's amazing, that's not something we're used to having. Um, and then just, you know, it's just so beautiful. So you can see, there's like another little seating area up here. It's nice to use if you're waiting for the shower or whatever. Uh, the ramp, because it's um, the end of summer, beginning of fall, it's still pretty steep. I've heard in the winter time it gets pretty, a lot less steep than this, um, but the ramp down to the dock is pretty steep right now. Um, you can see here we've got liveaboards over there, and they have beautiful, like beautiful little patio areas. The really unique thing about this uh, marina is that you get a full-size shed, and you get uh, certain slips have extra decking put on there, so like this one over here, so that you have a full-on basic patio. It's amazing. It's a really luxurious feeling. So when you come down here, um, each uh, slip here has its own shed and they're all painted and cute. These pastel colors. And uh, then there's this shop, which I'll show you the front side of it. So in the winter time, it has a wood burning stove, and um, in the winter time, a lot of times they meet in there for potlucks and whatnot, is what we've been told. Oh, look at that beautiful, beautiful. Duck, 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 duck. Or maybe it's a goose. Mm. Not so good with my uh, bird knowledge. Um, but yeah, you can see the channel going that way. That's Portland off into the distance. Uh, it's only about 15 minutes um, from Portland, from downtown Portland. Um, still a Portland address out here. So we're still Portland. We're just our own little island living in Portland. It's pretty fantastic, really. Um, it's so quiet. It is early in the morning right now, but it's just amazingly quiet all the time. Um, so yeah, and you can see across the channel there. Oh, the views are just spectacular. So when you come down here, they have the skulls and crossbones uh, little workshop super great as well. Uh, this has a wood burning stove, so it's great in the winter time. Um, you know, benches and things like that, so you can lay out your stuff to uh, work on your projects and whatnot. I have a feeling we'll use that this, uh, this winter a lot for, we need to do something with the headliners. I think we're gonna paint them, so I think that's fine. So here we are at our slip, and We've got a little patio shade thing. We've got some plants. Our shed is full of boat projects and supplies for that. Uh, well, right now our hard dodger is right there. <laughs> um, ever in project mode. Uh, but we've got this little table all set up and it's great because all the chairs and the table all fold up so in the winter time we can just fold it all up and put it tuck it away into the shed in here um yeah but it's just so peaceful here it's delightful i mean it's the morning right now uh so it's extra quiet but it's pretty much quiet like this all day long it's pretty amazing Come here off of the dock, you can see just the beautiful view that we have here. Besides the beautiful view of Yara. 
She has a beautiful view too. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning. Every morning here is beautiful though. So for those who think that cruising is just, and living on a sailboat is just pina coladas, margaritas on deck, unfortunately that's not the truth. Here I am cleaning out our bilge. So here I, there is some old, um, diesel pads that have some diesel sucked up. And then there's, I think that's a good amount of water because I'm not seeing much pink there. So that's good um, that maybe when they got the tank out, there wasn't that much uh, diesel leakage. <laughs> um, but it's looking good over here. The tank is out, um, hoses are, you know, plugged. Um, and so now I just need to get all of that cleaned out and get our bilge all nice and clean. And, uh, yeah. And then this week we'll work on, or next week or whatnot, in the coming weeks we'll work on redoing this piece of wood that sits right here. Um, so that we can, um, have marine grade, uh, good storage that has doesn't have the diesel soaked into it so I've got myself set up here I've got a mop to clean I've got paper towels to soak stuff up the garbage bag I'm using a boat hook to kind of pick up the uh, paper towels as they get soaked and yeah and then I've got some cleaning solution for the bilge after all of the uh, crud and everything is out. We just want to make sure that we're being um, safe and environmentally safe and making sure we're throwing away any diesel and not pumping any diesel overboard. So, here we are. Ugh. Yeah. We got it. So our pantry uh, is a little gross. <laughs> So we pull out that drawer. So. Oh yeah, yeah. So pantry. This is a nice little pantry area. And there's like three shelves. Yeah, three shelves and a bottom floor. I took out one of the slides, so it's a little harder. But one shelf, two shelf, three shelf, and a four. Uh, so it's gross. <laughs> Gross, and the wood supports don't have any po epoxy on them, so if they get wet, they'll just rot away. And it just looks like simple pine. Um, so we're gonna take this apart, put new hardware on too, because that looks pretty gross. And epoxy white, and, I'm sorry, epoxy the wood and paint it white and give it a nice scrub. So, Today, we cleaned and primed our pantry area here. So, we have a lid and slide out drawers that come out here uh, that we'll install. Um, so, we just wanted to paint it white first. We just got it primered. We'll paint one top, we'll do one coat paint, then that'll be good for that. Probably. Maybe we'll do two. I guess we'll see how it comes out. And then we can install everything and then we can use it to put food in there. We already did a new bottom. So there's like a new bottom piece that goes under here. We already did that. And uh, cleaned up the clear plastic drawers. So those are ready to go. They're over in our pilot berth. And then um, got some new hardware for it at the Chandlery. And we'll just, that's covered anyway, so we're not super concerned about that. 
but yeah this is gonna be a new pantry now we can actually put food in it without it being all grossy and nasty and we can find it too a little easier with the white um it'll just look a little cleaner and brighter um so yeah yay here we are with our redone pantry it's looking good we've been using it to kind of test it out so we got the lid back on it's great um, and then uh, you can already tell it's brighter and lighter and then we also put in a motion sensor light that are it's an LED light that's rechargeable um, so these scoot and you can see there's a new bottom down there um, and yeah we've just got plenty of space for food I've got tons of cans in here and this is kind of like our lighter drawer items quick things that we can get pretty frequently i usually keep the coffee in here and whatnot um yeah so it looks so much better and is so much more usable um and we also put in new hardware uh so that you can lock it as well once it's in place just put it in its spot and then lock it while you're underway and it'll keep everything from uh, rocking back and forth so yeah it's just really nice and then having that motion sensor light just really classies it up a bit and just makes it so much more usable um yeah so now we're just kind of trying to i'm trying to figure out how i want to organize it but for right now we've got plenty of food in here and yeah so that's really usable Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode.